I keep getting comments that if I was in Gaza, I would be killed for being queer. I don't know if they would unalive you, but your lifestyle certainly wouldn't be accepted by the majority of people over there. It's also worth noting that in Gaza, it's a crime for a man to have sex with another man. Though it hasn't been enforced in a very long time, it still carries a 10-year prison sentence, and it's definitely something I would be worried about if I was of that persuasion. Hamas also enforces Sharia law, which outlaws homosexuality outright. Now, I don't know what you identify as or whom you prefer prefer to have relations with, but I don't think any of that matters considering they're not nearly as open to LGBTQ over there, and that's just a fact. They are a very traditional people with strong religious ties. And first off, there are queer people in Gaza, and they're being killed for being Palestinian. So now you're conflating war with genocide, and that's just, that's just not what's happening. Please refer to any one of my previous videos. I don't need to move across the ocean to experience violence for being queer. That may be true, but over there you would be in infinitely more danger. And by the way, Hitler, he also attacked queer people. There's okay, more conflating of two completely unrelated issues. Please watch my recent videos on this war. And how dare you try to weaponize my queerness in order to manipulate me to support genocide. Yeah, I don't think that's what's happening here. Not one bit, especially the genocide comment. Apparently everyone has decided that Israel is the only country in the world not allowed to defend themselves after a blatant attack on their soil. If Mexico pulled that October 7th bullshit on us and we declared war on Mexico, you wouldn't be cheering for fucking Mexico. Or maybe you would. 